Okay, folks, I got an eight pound pork shoulder here that I'm going to do in the Smoke Pro, the uh, Camp Chef DLX today for Christmas. But your pork shoulder there can be called several different things uh, blade roast, Boston butt, all of them. It's the shoulder off of the pig, no matter what they call it. But you have this fat cap on top that I like to be facing up so I'm gonna get this thing uh, seasoned up and I'm gonna flip it over and start on the bottom first that way when I flip it back over it's the way I want it but what I do with my pulled pork is I cover it in mustard and then with the dry rub so that's what I'm going to do I'll check back in with you see I put the mustard on and then I wipe it around gives the rub something to stick to this is how I've always done it okay I'm gonna get off of here so I can get I need both hands here all right the bottoms all done I got it all coated with the rub now I'm gonna flip it over so the fat cap is up and then I'm gonna season that <clears throat> I like to put Anything I'm going to do in the smoker on one of these Bradley racks makes it easier for me. I don't have to keep touching the meat. I can just pick the rack up and set it on the smoker. So I'm going to flip this thing over. I'll show you the top. Here's the top. I'm going to cover with mustard and then rub it and get it all ready for the smoker. Some people trim this fat cap off the top of this shoulder roast. I don't. I wouldn't recommend you do. It's what kind of helps maintain the moisture and the meat as it's on the smoker. So let me get this seasoned up and I'll be back. There it is, folks. All seasoned up. Now I'm going to go get the Camp Chef, my uh, Smoke Pro DLX fired up. I'll show you that. And... Um, I always allow roughly an hour and a half per pound um, to get this done. This is was about an eight pound shoulder roast, so I've allotted about 12 hours uh, today to do this. It's about 7.30 a.m. right now, uh, around 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Uh, this is going to be the first pulled pork I've done on the Smoke Pro, so we'll see how it turns out. Folks, I'm out at the smoker, and uh, I'm going to do my best here. It's still pretty dark out, because here in Indiana, we can't even figure the time out. It's still dark at 7.30 in the morning. My hopper needs some pellets. I'm going to use these uh, apple, apple pellets here and uh, fill the hopper up. And then I'm going to turn this on, and it's got a 10-minute start sequence i'm going to set it at 250 degrees okay i'm all set got the hopper full i've never used this smoker to do a pork shoulder for this long and it's it's a little chilly out it's it's like 35 degrees supposed to get up to 40 so i'm sure it's going to burn through quite a bit of pellets which i'm fine with that so i've plugged power into the camp chef here I'm gonna set the dial to 250 you can see the controller says start that'll go through a eight minute warm-up where the uh, auger is gonna feed some pellets into the fire pot there's a hot rod in there that's gonna start glowing and start this thing up so I'm gonna give it let it get warmed up and I'm going to put the pork shoulder on here and I'll show you the probe. There's a probe that goes in right here, comes up and goes through. There's a hole right here and then I'm going to put that into my pork shoulder. I'm going to run the pork shoulder up to 
I always take mine up to about 203 degrees internal temperature. And my guess is that's going to take about 10 hours uh, today to do. So I'll check back with you. All right, we just came off the eight minute startup sequence. Smokers starting to warm up. We're at 212 degrees. Um, I'm gonna go in and get my pork shoulder and get it on here. Uh, you know, I know I said hour and a half per pound, but don't ever go by time, go by temperature of whatever meat you're cooking. Uh, I'm gonna take the pork shoulder up to 203 degrees, which is way past what you would have to get pork to, but that's what makes it fall apart so you can pull it real easy. So this thing's warming up and uh, I'm gonna get the shoulder on here. I got the shoulder out here. I don't have any help today to help film, but these Bla uh, Bradley racks that I use, this is why I use them, because now I don't have to use tongs to put the shoulder on the smoker. I can just grab this rack with my hands and set it on the grate in here. And uh, then I'm gonna put the probe in there's a the shoulder blade bone inside this roast so when you insert your thermometer you want to stay away from that or it'll give you a, a false reading on your temperature so I I'm unable to show you I'm gonna set this in there but I'm gonna grab this rack right here on both sides and just lift it up I'm gonna put the probe on this thing and put it into the pork shoulder there one thing I can't stress enough is is the safety of any of this when you're messing with raw meat you know be careful with cross-contamination you know keep your hands clean I wore gloves when I was messing with the raw meat I'm gonna sanitize uh, this probe before I put it in this uh, shoulder roast because if that probe is nasty then I'm just going to end up putting that into the meat so I'm going to sanitize the probe and uh, get it into the shoulder I put the probe hooks in right into this hole right here you come up go through that hole there shoulders been on about an hour I want to see how I'm doing on pellets still looking good there let's see what the meat temp is 55 degrees I'll check on it periodically and see how it's doing it's about 15 till 11 a.m. So the shoulder's been on about not quite three hours. Started out at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to see what it's uh, reading right now. 107. 107 degrees. And it's looking pretty good. Like I said, this smoker when I'm videoing the bronze lid and stuff puts a, a weird tint uh, reflection or something off of it on you know onto the meat but it it's not really that color um, still a nasty misty rainy day about 40 degrees uh, I don't know how well this smoker would hold up out in the elements I don't I don't run it out where the rain and stuff can get it and I keep it stored in the garage here so my guess is you know on a day like today I really wouldn't be able to use it uh, outside without any kind of overhead uh, protection so I'm gonna let this thing go some more and uh, I'm gonna keep checking on it I'm also in the kind of in the middle of trying to get my furnace fixed today it's been acting uh, doing some crazy things so in between messing with that and I'm keeping an eye on this pork shoulder so uh, I'll check back here in a little bit and we'll see how how it's doing it's almost noon 
shoulder's been on almost four hours. Uh, smoking here, I'm gonna take a look at it. Looking pretty good. 131 degrees. If you recall, I said 40 to 140 in four hours or less. So I started out at 32. I don't know exactly when I hit 40 degrees, but I, I'll i be okay here. So I'm going to get off here and go back to working on my furnace and keep an eye on this thing. Pellet wise. We're still doing pretty good. It's maybe used a quarter of the pellets, maybe, I don't know, somewhere around there. The hopper holds 18 pounds. Bag of pellets come in 20 pounds. Don't quite understand why they didn't make the hopper 20 pounds, but um, I got plenty of pellets here, so I think we're going to be in good shape. 1.30 p.m. Shoulders 156 degrees. Let's see how it's looking. Oh, yeah. Looking pretty good. Now, a lot of times when you're... When you're doing uh, something like this in a smoker, you're going to hit what they what's called a stall, where your internal temperature, your meat, won't really rise much. Uh, you're just going to have to be patient, and uh, some people will wrap uh, whatever they're doing in foil to kind of power through uh, the stall, but I, I don't. I just let it go, so we're going to keep checking on this. Um, I got to add, I'm going to add some more pellets here, and uh, I'll check back. I'm not going to keep showing you guys every time. I'll just show you the, the end result here, the next one. So we'll see you later. 3.30 p.m. Shoulder roast. Internal temp, 172 degrees. Man, it smells good. All right, guys. Next time, I'll probably just wait. So I'm trying not to make the video too long. So... I'll just wait till it's completely done, show you the after, and then how we pull it. See you later. It's a little after 5.30 p.m., uh, pretty close to my 10-hour mark. <clears throat> Shoulder, 199. I'm going to call this good because uh, i got to wrap this up here, but... Uh, I'm going to show you some pictures then of the aftermath here, but I uh, hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I can't really say enough good things about this, this smoker. I wish I would have bought one years ago, to be honest with you. It's almost so easy, I feel like I'm cheating, but hopefully this has uh, maybe inspired someone to give a go at this on your own. Um, if you can make food like this at home, you know, there's no need to go out to eat. You know, your family and friends, I'm sure, will love you for it. Uh, I know my neighbors do and my family. But uh, if you guys got any questions, you know, let me know. Let me know what you think of the video in the comments below. It's been fun. It's been a long day. I did finally get the furnace working, I think. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, everyone have a safe and Happy holiday, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.